The Pokemon franchise has had a distinct tradition of basing their regions off of real life places. For instance, Generations 1 through 4 were based on specific parts of Japan. In Generation 5, they moved over to New York and based the Unova region off the metropolitan region there. Finally, of course, we had Kalos, which is based off of France. So naturally, ever since the announcement of Sun and Moon, people have been asking what part of the world these games will be modeled after. Well, if you ask me, given the information we have right now, I'd say by far the best bet is Southeast Asia, specifically Singapore and Malaysia. After looking at countless discussions in the Pokemon community and some very good videos made by other YouTubers as well as some ideas of my own, there's a significant amount of evidence for this theory. And while we don't have official confirmation yet, Southeast Asia is easily the strongest candidate to answer this question. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you all why I think the region for Pokemon Sun and Moon will be based on Southeast Asia and also discussing the prospect of going back to previous regions in this game. First and perhaps most notably, I want you all to take a look at the flag of Malaysia here. And what do you guys see on the flag? Well obviously there's a sun and a moon on there. The implication here is pretty obvious. Pokemon named the game Sun and Moon in part because the region is based off Malaysia whose official flag is engraved with a sun and a moon. But for those of you who think this is pure coincidence, let me give you some more evidence. Take a look at this hotel here. Does it look familiar? Well, it turns out that one of the buildings showcased in a screenshot during the Sun and Moon trailer is actually modeled after this real life hotel. Taking a look at a side-by-side -side comparison of the two, the similarities are uncanny. And this hotel, called the Raffles Hotel, is located in none other than Singapore, which is right next to Malaysia. So what I think this indicates is that Sun and Moon will be based on both Singapore and Malaysia, or perhaps even the larger region of Southeast Asia as a whole. Moreover, as some of you may or may not know, Buddhism is incredibly prevalent in Southeast Asia and has a very rich history in this region. Buddhism, which originated in India, thrived and flourished in Southeast Asia more so than any other region in the world. Now, it turns out that the moon is a fairly significant symbol in the Buddhist religion. Specifically, almost every outstanding event of the Lord Buddha's life took place on a full moon day. He was born on a full moon, his enlightenment occurred underneath a full moon, his first sermon was delivered under a full moon, and he passed away beneath a full moon as well. Combine the moon's significance in Buddhism with its prevalence in Southeast Asia and you've got a connection to Pokemon Moon that is unlikely to be pure coincidence. Finally, once again going with the theme of religion here, Islam is actually fairly prevalent in Southeast Asia as well. Specifically, 61.8% of Malaysia practices Islam, which is three times more than the next largest religion in the country in Buddhism. And guess what the symbol of Islam is? A crescent moon and star, which I claim is analogous to the version names of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Again, we observe a connection between Pokemon Sun and Moon and yet another religion that is incredibly prevalent in Southeast Asia. In my eyes, this can't be pure coincidence. So to sum things up, I think there's an incredibly high chance that Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon will take place in a region based off of Malaysia and Singapore as well as maybe perhaps a few more surrounding areas. Moving on, let's go ahead and talk about the prospect of potentially traveling back to an older region in Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon since a lot of people in the Pokemon community have been proposing this possibility. A quick clarification here though, what I'm about to say definitely has much less to support it than what was said earlier in the video. A lot of the upcoming speculation is almost going to be based on gut feel as opposed to backed up by hard evidence, but even still there are definitely still some arguments to be made. Now first of all, if you guys recall from the trailer, the following words were said right before they announced Sun and Moon. It all comes together. Now, in all likelihood, this is probably just a reference to the skills and experiences of developers working on the past Pokemon games. But an alternate interpretation is that in Sun and Moon we will be able to revisit all the regions in previous Pokemon games. In my eyes, this is a rather exaggerated claim, but I won't deny that it at least has some merit to it. What I could definitely see, and hell, to be honest, I actually sort of believe this is going to happen, is us returning to just one of the previous regions. 
Obviously, this has been done before with gold and silver, which were met with lots of positivity, so why not again in Sun and Moon? Moreover, you'll also have to consider the fact that Kalos really hasn't had its full time in the spotlight as of yet. I mean, every single generation so far has had a sequel game, be it Yellow, Crystal, Emerald, Platinum, or Black and White 2. It definitely seems a bit unfair for Game Freak to just skip over Kalos. But one way they can make up for this is by either making Sun and Moon the sequels to X and Y, which is an option that I highly doubt, or the second and better option is making it so that we can revisit previous regions in Sun and Moon. It would allow Game Freak to tie in all of those Zygarde forms as well, which has been a massive head scratcher ever since Sun and Moon were announced. So, for perhaps those unconvincing reasons, I feel like we'll be able to travel back to a previous region in Sun and Moon, most likely Kalos. Well, alright folks, that is pretty much gonna do it for this video. As always, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Pokemon videos in the future. Also, be sure to let me know your thoughts on this theory, as well as the prospect of going back to Kalos or potentially other previous regions down below in the comments. Otherwise, I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video.